get fly to the ball. A lot of communicating, all right? Yo, Mal, please come over here, dog. Stop doing that. All right? We we here, dog. Lock your feet. Right? 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 Yeah. for each other. Work out, right? Yeah. Boss for each other. Work out and try to get, get get what you can get. Get what you can get and then get, get out of town. Alright, here yeah, we go. One more. Alright. Balance. 24, say. Throw it! What are you looking at? Get out of bounds. Get out of bounds. Stop, stop, stop. Hunter, what are you doing, dog? Come on! Alright, I'm supposed to control you. Alright, get in the huddle, man. Get in the huddle. Did he see something that we did? A lot of talking. Okay, a lot of talking. I want to see execution when I watch this film. Okay, execution. A lot of talking. Yeah, bro! Let's go! Three, please. Alright, we'll talk about it. No, you said it working! Alright, we'll see what happens. <laughs> I know I yell at you dudes, but I'm proud of you dudes. You respond well. I'm proud of you guys. Did we get a 1%? You got your 1%. Oh, yeah! The best part about today was watching you dudes like have fun. You know what I mean? Like, like us as coaches, like that's that's what it is for us. We got to live the game through you guys. So, lots of you guys excited for your teammates and having a good time was, was the greatest thing. You taking all the challenges, saying to yourselves, like, listen, like, we, you know, we, we're all 14. All right, you have to play that way. And we met some adversity right there in the beginning of the game. Right in our first drive, we had a turnover. Right in like the second or third play of the game, we had a turnover. Real proud of you dudes. Continue, continue, continue to be strong mentally. All right, because you can see it translate into the field, right? Good job. Bro. Yeah! yeah. yeah. A few administrative practice things. tomorrow. Uh, All right. Oh, uh, so listen, no, no, I got to practice tomorrow. <laughs> I want you guys to enjoy this win. Really excited, like where we are right now as a football team. We've challenged you. You, you've been able to answer it. everything we brought to your doorstep. Like you opened the door, it was like, what's good? And I appreciate you dudes for doing that because you're showing like big time character. And it takes that to be a great football team. We're getting closer, though. Like, like we're getting closer. Okay? Like we 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 like we we are we outside. Like so I'm not I'm not, I'm not gonna yeah. lie to you. So that means that you know we're in a dangerous point. A lot of teams don't achieve greatness. A lot of teams don't. A lot of teams are good. There's more there's more good football team than there are great football team. I wanna make sure that we achieve that we achieve greatness. I'm not gonna take the foot off the gas in terms of being on top of you guys. I'm gonna make that promise to you. I'm gonna bring the best out of you and make you the best you could possibly be. You just got to keep answering it when we keep challenging you. Because more challenges are going to come. All right, the better we get, the more challenging it's going to get. All right, if that makes sense. It's like more money, more problems. You heard? Don't do anything stupid tonight. All right, it's Saturday night. Uh, you, know, you know what I'm saying? Don't do anything that's going to jeopardize our season. Don't do anything. Listen to me because this is serious. All right, just listen to me. Okay, don't do anything that's going to jeopardize our season. We rolling right now. All right, we got the train going in the right direction. Okay, the next stop is a week away, less than a week away. Six days away is the next stop. So don't do anything that's going to jeopardize our team. Be smart. Take care of each other. Now let's make sure we clean up everything. We'll go into the locker room and get our stuff. Let's hurry up so we can get the hell up out of here. All right? Holly on three. Family on six. One, two, three. Four, five, six. Family. Family. Yo, Go to the tone for next week. Let's we'll start getting to work. Next week is the test. And I like us. I told you all. If it's us and Jesus, Jesus got to go down. Next week is it. Enjoy today. Yes, of course. But be mindful. Great game. I mean, I'm even better one next week. No more arm tackling. We want to hit, hit, and hit again. So be prepared. This is the type of game we're going to play. So we got to prepare ourselves, all right? Mentally and physically, all right? We went on a roll. We, we won... Uh, 
four games, four games in a row. And then we were going to play a non-league opponent um, in, in Pelham High School. There was such confusion with the, the days that we can practice. I sent out a schedule and it was in line with the school calendar. And there was just uh, miscommunication of what was on the school calendar of when we can and cannot practice. We weren't able to practice for two days in a short week. We played on a Saturday. We have to give players off on a Sunday. We can't go seven days in a row. We practice on Monday. We weren't able to practice on Tuesday uh, and Wednesday. And then we had the game on Friday. Administration asked me like what the schedule would look like or what practice would look like the day before the game. We usually don't even practice with pads. Wearing helmets is more of a walkthrough practice. You know, administration and school officials said the only time that you're going to practice is on Monday with helmet and shoulder pads and then go play on Friday. That's just not conducive to training and it's not safe for your players. And I had to break that news to the guys that we weren't going to be able to play that game, which was highly anticipated. Everyone was looking forward to it. They were undefeated at the time. We were undefeated at the time. Uh, it was their homecoming. And we, we just... We were just overwhelmed with excitement to go play that game, and it was such a letdown when we were unable to. It was very tough telling the guys that we weren't going to play that game. They were really upset about it. And up to this point, you know, morale is high. We're an undefeated football team. We, we had uh, some convincing wins. And uh, telling those dudes that, I mean, it was like everybody's head just went, just fell right to the ground. It was dead silence in the room. It was tough. It was probably the toughest part of our season. The guys were upset. They were angry uh, that they weren't able to play. It felt like we didn't play a game for a month that week off. And, and I understand it. You know, we, we go through camp, we go through all season, you go through all of this stuff for, you know, 10 games max. It's very different from every other sport where you play 20 games or you know, 15 or 30, whatever, uh, you get 10 max. And that's if you're playing for a championship. They were very upset about that whole uh, situation. Um, coaches as well. And we use that. We use that. The disappointment of not playing last week clearly has fueled an already undefeated football team. a tremendous amount of support and a catalyst for the program.
sidelines. Yes, sir. Uh, a couple of administrative things. Yeah. <laughs>